Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I really appreciate you taking time out to join me and I hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving. Today we have the Casio Duro and this is model number MDV106-1A and this is gonna be the third watch in my Legend series and I honestly can't think of another watch that has earned the title of a legend more than the Casio Duro. Simply a fantastic watch for the money. You need to go out and get one if you don't have one in your collection. It's obviously not gonna break the bank. They're only about 40 or $41. They're super cheap, but what you're getting for that money is amazing. <laughs> They're just fantastic watches. Also, make sure you check out my Amazon shopping channel for all of my favorite watches that I've reviewed on this channel, and make sure you visit my Teespring merch store and pick yourself up a t-shirt or a mug. They're on sale from now till the end of the year. Make sure you use my coupon code MAV15OFF, that's M-A-V-1-5-O-F-F, -F, and that'll save you 15% off your entire order. I'll make sure to put that link in the description field for you. So here we go, guys. Ready? Boom. These are the most comfortable gloves. They're made out of, I think, nylon. Let me see. I'm trying these things out. They're really comfortable. They're made out of uh, polyurethane and nylon. I don't know what it is, man. They're stretchy. They're comfortable. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, they feel great so far. Now, I don't have as much tactile feel as I do with those little uh, finger rubbers. <laughs> but uh, we'll see how it goes. They're really comfortable, though. So I'll go ahead and give you the basic specs of the watch. Again, not a full review. I'll just kind of run over those specs real fast here. I'm not going to put anything up on the side of the screen. I'm just going to kind of read it off to you. Uh, you're looking at a 44 millimeter stainless steel case. It's 12 millimeters thick. It's a 48 millimeters lug to lug. It's on a 22 millimeter resin strap. It's got a mineral crystal. It's water resistant to 200 meters, which is 660 feet. Cassio says the movement is a 2784, which it actually looks like a Miyota 2115 movement. You're looking at about two or three years on the battery. Uh, you've got a screw down case back. You've got a screw down crown over here at three o'clock. You've got the date also over here at three o'clock. Uh, you don't have a day function. Uh, of course, it's not windable. It is hackable. Loom, I guess some sort of Casio proprietary possibly, and a 120 click unidirectional bezel. So let me get this watch box out of the way. So this is what makes this watch a legend its price. It's $41 on Amazon. And for $41, guys, you're getting a screw down crown, an all stainless steel case, a screw down case back, a decorated laser etched screw down case back, which is a little bit odd for a watch in this price range. Most of the time, these case backs are just sterile. There's really nothing on them except for a little tiny bit of writing or engraving on there. Uh, so you're getting a nice little Marlin logo right there. Pretty cool. Uh, 200 meters water resistant. I mean, it's, it's insane. You're getting applied indexes. The second hand hits each index on the spot. Look at this, watch. Wait till it gets down to the six. Boom. I mean, it's just insane what Casio is able to do for the money. Great looking watch. Now this is a 44 millimeter watch, so it might be a little bit big for some guys. My personal sweet spot is a uh, 42 to 44. So I can pull this off with no problem. Uh, some smaller guys might have a little bit of an issue, but you know, with it being a 48 millimeter lug to lug, it's gonna wear nicely anyway, even on a smaller wrist. So don't really worry about the size. I mean, it's not like an you know Invicta big or anything. Worry about how little you're gonna pay for this watch. And you're getting all of those fantastic specs. I just can't, I don't understand how Casio is able to do this for the money. Good looking watch, 120 click bezel, nice click action, very little back play. Again, for a watch in this price range, that's really rare. Look at it, it lines up perfectly. There we go. Um, man, I mean, this really needs to be in y'all's collection. Go out there and get one. It's really a no brainer. Just go out and get the watch. Now this is a resin strap and this, believe it or not, is one of the most comfortable watches I own. Maybe, maybe the cheapest, I think it is the cheapest, yet this resin strap, for some reason, is incredibly supple. Yeah, I said it. I can't remember the guy that didn't like it when I said the word supple. Supple and soft, and when you break it in, it's even better. So, I mean, I love the resin strap on this thing. You got a nice stainless steel buckle. Um, you got a keeper, a movable keeper right there. Uh, the actual watch itself, is a, it's really highly polished, to tell you the truth. You got polished edges on the top of the lugs. Of course, you get a polished side. You've got a polished little ring around the, um, the case back there. P 
polished uh, crown guards, another polished side here on the other side of the case, this little polished strip right here. The top is brushed, the top of the lugs are brushed. Uh, but man, it's a fantastic looking watch. The build quality, the fit and finish for what you're paying, uh, it's incredible. I don't know how Casio does this. I really don't know how they do it. It's amazing. And that's why this is, you know, easily uh, the third watch in my Legend series. And again, if you don't have one of these, go out there and get one. If you don't like the resin strap for whatever reason, slap it on a NATO. Tons of different strap options if you want to put this on a different strap. A NATO or a two-piece NATO. Um, you know, a leather strap if you want to do a leather strap for whatever reason. Uh, it's really easy to slap a different strap on this watch. Um, I just love it, man. I really, really love it. And at 3.2 ounces, it's surprisingly light given how water resistant it is to 200 meters and the fact that it's all stainless steel. I'm not quite sure how they do this. Casio has definitely created a legend in this Duro. Just a fantastic looking watch. Very well built for the money. Maybe the perfect beater. Uh, some people don't like it when I use the term beater for a $50 watch. I mean, it's a beater watch. I mean, you could get cheaper watches like, you know, Timex uh, Ironmans or something like that if you want. But this is probably the perfect beater watch out there today. Uh, if something happens to it, you know, it's 40 bucks. Just get another one. Uh, or you can, you know, you can change out the battery. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, you know, take it to a dive shop or something and have them water test it for you to make sure the seal is good or send it back to Casio. But, you know, by the time this thing is ready to have the battery changed, it's probably going to be beat up pretty bad. So it's easy just to get a new one or even stockpile a few of them. Get three or four of them. I know I've got probably two or three uh, just waiting around to give out to friends and family. Uh, this is probably going to be my son's first watch, I'm betting. Uh, so, guys, go out there and get one of these things, man. They're a fantastic value. Uh, very well built. Great looking. You know, it's kind of got you know a little Rolex homage thing going on to it. Just a little bit. But I think it's different enough where you can't really call it a Rolex homage. The indexes are different enough. The hands are different enough. Uh, you know, very minimal writing. You've got Cassio up there at 12. you got... Water resist 200 meters, and then you got the the uh, the Marlin logo down there at six. Uh, man, just a fantastic watch. I can't really think of any downsides to this watch. I'm trying to think of something negative because every watch I review has some, you know, I, it gets some dings, a couple little points taken away for this or that. But man, I just can't think of anything about this watch that I don't like. And that might be a first, man. It might be a first. Let's go ahead and try this thing on. I can get it over my new gloves here. And I think these gloves are going to work out, man. I think they're going to work out. There you go. Man, what a nice watch. You know, you can have watches that are two and $300 or $1,000, and I guarantee you it won't feel as good on the wrist as this one does. That's how nice this strap is on a $41 watch. That's just crazy. All right, let's go ahead and give you a loom shot. You're not going to be impressed. I know I wasn't. I mean, again, 41 bucks. you can't have everything. With this one, you almost have everything, but you can't have everything. And I think that's, you know what? There it is. That's the weak point of the watch is the loom. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Not a super big deal, but this is probably where they skimped out a little bit. I mean, it's not, you know, horrible. It gets the job done but it doesn't last very long. It's not very bright. Um, now to the naked eye, the loom is almost failed. It's almost faded out. So, but you know, the, the camera can pick up a little bit lower light levels than the human eye can. So yeah, to the naked eye, the loom's almost totally gone. But I think that's a fair trade off for the watch that you're getting, the specs that you're getting, all stainless steel, screw down case back, screw down crown, indexes line up perfectly. So yeah, that's a trade-off, the loom not being the best. But I mean, really, you're getting such a fantastic watch. Stainless steel, uh, screw-down crown, uh, screw-down case back, applied indexes. Uh, the second hand hits all the indexes perfectly. 200 meters water resistant. So yeah, the loom's a little weak. Big deal. Guys, go out there and get this watch. Again, this has really earned the title of a legend. Cassio has done a fantastic job with this watch. Uh, I just love this thing, man. And I think you'll love it too. And if you don't have one, why not? Why don't you have this watch yet? <laughs> it's like not having, you know, a G-Shock Square in your collection or something like that. You need to have one of these in your collection. Go out there and get one. So guys, that's really about it, man. That's all I wanted to tell you about this watch. Again, I hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving. 
Uh, I'm probably going to do maybe one or two more reviews and then call it quits for the month of December. I'm going to take some time off and enjoy time with my son and the family and all the other type of stuff. So I've got a couple more reviews coming. So make sure you stay tuned for those. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe and click that notification bell. And until the next review, I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>